over to territory and then run a, a wide sweep. You can run up the center from the territory, but there's occasionally you get gankers that are camping those bridges. But if you do, you should wide sweep on the northeast side. You can usually get around it. You got more um, room to maneuver as well. I'm just logging in, Craig Gubb, by the way, so I can check if there are, if there are guys who yeah who might be willing to gank you. <laughs> yeah, Craig Gubb was I've, usually it's just totally dead and quiet, but I saw 15 in there about a half hour ago. Yeah, we were there like last night. We saw like totally dead from time to time, just a few gatherers and then like huge zergs. Like it's kind of crazy. Uh, but I think well, it's there's, a, there's an attack on a war route. camp there too, though, isn't there? Coming up. Oh yeah, right. Just when you get to Craig Gubb, don't short shank it and try to go through the, 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 the tight thing. Go to the territory, because you can get a bubble almost to territory. From territory, you can come right almost into the there. Well, I'm just going to have a, you know, like a T4, T4, T5 armored horse, and I'm going to um, bring uh, just gathering gear. So if I die, I die. Well, yeah, and it's yeah, not that expensive anyway. And plus, you know, even if you die, you still got all the points you got from harvest from, from mining. Yeah, that's really what I'm going out there for. Don't forget your pies, though. Good point. How much are the tier 7? Pies? About 2,000 yeah. or so. 2,500. Oh, boy. Uh, just keep in mind that, like, uh, it just felt like of like I started ganking a guy and like seven evil ones jumped me so yeah Craig Gubb is definitely not safe right now yeah, <laughs> managed to there. managed to run off but be careful if you're going through there especially if you got an ox or something <laughs> yeah just a heads up I mean if they're chasing you or something I'll, I'll come and help you for sure if you want you can even group me uh, but yeah uh, it's not that safe right now well make it safe well, I started killing one of the evil ones, guys, but then he ran off and he brought like five friends, so... <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah. I just... Come on, I believe in you. Yeah, sure. If I actually manage to kill five people, I'm uh, alone, I'm like, I don't know. You're gonna get banned. <laughs> yeah, for hacks. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> uh... Take my no staff wearing ass over to Carleo in here by a, <laughs> by a few pigs and stuff. Are there any mobs I I need to worry about over there to attack, or can I just go staffless? Yeah, uh, there are a few golems in the territory. I would definitely bring like a dagger or something like that. I use daggers for my to try to get the runaway ability. Um, it's a great time to skill them up on those stupid golems because you can kill them easy. Or, or whatever you like to use. I use a fire staff, so maybe I'll just buy That's some fine too. cheap piece of crap. But nothing worse than seeing a, you know, 5.3 golem walking around, you can't touch it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How about the, the the minor gear, if you do the point one, point two of that stuff, does it uh, really increase the carry I don't think weight? it does. Okay. Yeah, I think it just increases like the stats that the gear gives, but not the bonuses. Uh, okay. for my yeah. Own. At least that that's my two cents. I'm not about the bag. Sure. Ah, the bag is. Uh, it would be good if you got a like tier five bag or whatever your yeah. gathering tier is. Because uh, like the I don't. I'm not even sure that the bags can go like four one or four two, uh, for example. Uh, maybe maybe I'm mistaken there though. You you mean the miner's backpack or the yeah the bag? backpacks there mm -hmm. sir. Yeah, if you can just you know grab the tier five one, uh, if you can wear it or whatever maximum tier you can wear because that one gives you like uh, if you're wearing a tier 4 it only look, works on tier 4 and below like or if you're wearing a tier 5 it works on tier you know 5 or and below yeah right now I got a, I got a Grandmaster one on so I'll oh just... you're yeah <laughs> no worries there <laughs> those aren't even that expensive anymore yeah Yeah, I just wear two or six bags myself. Oh, 
greedy arch, like trying to dig right next to a gentleman territory. This would be like a little adventure at over now the clay hills. Got so many freaking learning points stacked up, I might as well go use them. Oh, yeah, for sure. Those are valuable. And Clay Hill used to be the most dangerous zone in the game, but it's gotten better over the last few weeks. Yeah, I think Flint's It's still his, bad, but. Because they oh, can Flint's be the most dangerous zone. Now. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you don't do the bubble trick, you're. you're like, like, the past two nights, you're like dead uh, at the mud pool portal. Well, Flint Slide's definitely the most camped zone in the game. Yeah. And it's also a problem, because if you kill the guys, like, they drop tier 4 trash, more or less. So people just don't, like... I don't know. They just don't hunt them down that much anymore. It's not worth your time. I mean, yeah, if, you're gonna, if you want to play Ganker, go out to Arkag or Well of the Worlds or CV and really play it and make big hits when you kill. Because, you know, you kill a T7 Miner, you may get a bunch of ore or... You know, cloth yeah, or that I mean, kind the, of stuff. Plus, you know, all this, like, yeah. the gear alone is can can sell for a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand. Whereas, you know, basically playing uh, with the weevil wobble that won't go down of Baca. I mean, all you're doing is just you know, the best way to get rid of Baca is no one shows up there and they have nothing to do to get bored. <laughs> yeah, you're right there, though. But they're they're a bit of a nuisance for our you know trader guys and stuff because yeah. Well, as far as the trading goes, I just. For me, I mean, I do some trading. I just stockpile everything I have in Sunlit. I stockpile everything I have in, in um, Carleon. And whenever we have a guild event and we just get a wild hair and just destroy the zone, I run oxes back and forth. Hmm, yeah, that sounds like Get the biggest damn ox you can, the biggest bag you can. You can carry 2,000 materials back and forth. You can carry a lot of stuff. And it's more efficient time wise, too, because you're not wasting time running back and forth anyway. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, you're right there. I usually just take the risk and, you know, jump on my ox and, you know, try to do the run. Uh, they haven't caught me on an ox yet, but yeah, you're you're totally right. Like anything can happen if you're alone without guildies. Like you might crash or something, and then you're screwed more or less. Oh, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it just for my for me, I find it more efficient. Yeah. Sometimes it's frustrating. So I'm like, yeah, I want to craft right now, but I don't have my materials. But other times, you're know, like, if you've brought like 2k worth of ore in there. You're like, man, I can craft anything I want to now. So. Mm, yeah. And honestly, if you can't craft, just go harvest more stuff. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That, that's exactly what I'm doing right now, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, do, doing stuff in bulk is more counter. efficient. What's that? What about if you can't harvest? Are the bad guys getting Why can't you harvest? Them? Well, because uh, let's say yeah. there are a couple of groups ganking you all the time. I'll go somewhere else. Pick it, just yeah, pick an Arizona. Okay, yeah. so we... Um, I'm at Mudpool right now because I'm too scared to go anywhere else. <laughs> oh, you don't want to play in Mudpool. That's that's the hard zone right now. There's no no territory easily to get to. I mean, yeah. it has anything around it. We have deep well, don't we? What 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 yeah. kind of resource are you looking for? I want to go gather uh, mostly tier six because I want to I want the fame so I can finally learn the T7. That's fine. Which resource though? I think uh, fiber. A cotton picker. Yeah. So it's either uh, I have to I go think to Gangreen Sump Bio? is a good way to go. If I were you, what you want to do is what I do with my gatherer: go through mud no, pool to Burnt no, Rock no, Well. No, no. Oh yeah, no. okay, like that. Then yeah. From Burnt Rock Well, go north to Gangreen Sump and just play outside the, the the portal to Burnt Rock Well. Yeah, that was exactly my plan, but. Uh, and Burnt seemed... Rock isn't that bad either if you're looking for lower stuff. If you're looking for T6, you want to just go north. Do not go through Flint Slice, you just die a bunch of times. Yeah, exactly, but uh, I was going to go to uh, Grave of Eternity, but I stopped by Mudpo and now I'm, now I'm at 51% uh, full and I haven't seen anybody. Well, and that works too. If, if some, a mud pool, if you can get it and no one's there, is wonderful because you don't have to transport the stuff at all. It's just great. Yeah. But usually mud pools are just a, a big mess because you know we have not even territory anymore, so it's kind of hard. 
But yeah, Blue for Oxygen. fiber, mud pool, and burnt rock and gangrene are great. If you after that, you gotta jump over to hungry mire, which can be good or bad. But that's kind of like any place in the game. Like AC is as bad as hungry mire. You never know. But that's you're hunting tier seven at that point. Yeah, the problem is when I get to tier seven, I need like um, six, 60 more points, or if I could lower them, actually. No, I not now. I need the uh, how many is that? Fifty two. Yeah, so uh, let's say on Saturday, Sunday, I'm gonna go to Hungry Mire or maybe even Grave of Eternity or even Circling Vultures because Circling Vultures is also nice, especially at the entrances. There are a lot of six materials. Yeah, and... CB is good, but CB is a lot of times camped, so you gotta be careful. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing but something. But yesterday. Oh, sorry to interrupt you guys. I'm seeing something in the last chat, like some. Flaming or something. Of course. Heads up. Nothing new here. <laughs> yeah. No, I think one of our members is doing the hate speech stuff. I don't know. I'm just putting that out there. It's not Derek this time. <laughs> so that's that's why I'm commenting. Uh, it. Yeah. Someone yeah. said that King Bosch is actually Derek. Ah, okay. And now I see Jamal uh, or something. Yeah, whatever. Ah, I don't know. Yeah, sorry to interrupt you. Go on. Sorry. Yeah, I forgot what I was talking about, so... Yeah. Oh yeah, Circling Vultures, uh, there were like... Um, four or five... Fiber Gatherers... Yesterday, so... Yeah, I gave, gave up on that. Loud and clear. Look at this. You're doing it wrong. It's testis, testis. <laughs> testicle, <laughs> testicle. <laughs> testicle indeed. Oh my god, it's Friday! I totally did not realize it was Friday. <laughs> uh. Yeah, to the Friday!
So there's actually a good thing about losing one territory in Mudpool. There are not a lot of gatherers now. Hmm. And it's good only until you die, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that means less enemies, maybe, but less allies, too. Fuck you too. Two double bladed stars. Oh, that's they nice. couldn't touch me. <laughs> what weapon are you using? The claymore? No, I'm with tier six horse. Ah, I see. He sprinted. He used that uh, shit ability. The other one got down. He tried it again. I went swords on launch and we got totally screwed for any kind of PvP. There's really no sense in running swords when daggers can do the same or better. Mm, yeah, actually at the start of the game, because I was kind of like I didn't play the betas or anything, and I, I thought that like the, uh, the blood letter was actually a sword. <laughs> Oh really? Yeah. That's what I use now. Claws and blood ladder. Yeah. Well, I was claymore and dual swords. I really want to level up daggers right now because I really like the blood ladder for like solo stuff. It looks cool. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm using maces and double bladed for gank right now. Oh, fucking close. Claws are really good for ganking, they're probably the best right now, I think. Yeah, but they do need a follow-up though, because uh, if you're alone, like, what? So you stunned him and dismounted him, but then he can fight back, I guess. I don't know. I'm talking out of my ass right now, so... <laughs> oh, fuck! This guy just got away! <laughs> he was almost dead! <laughs> that was close. I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got another... <laughs> fucking double bladed, and the other guy was with close, so... Uh, you're gathering in Mudpool? I, I'm actually gonna come gank there in like 15 minutes, uh, if you're still there. Yeah, there are like, uh, two parties of two people. Uh-huh, oh, that sounds good. I'm just, like, uh, returning the loot from last night when we ganked, like, you know, what was the Craig Gub, uh, and then I'm gonna go down to... Uh, from Clayhill to, yeah. Flint slice and mud pool. There are some people dying right now. Mm. Oh, they're dying from tea bags. So that's our guys. Is tea bags and tea party? <laughs> yep, that kind of makes sense, but it's also funny. <laughs> uh. Well, I lasted about uh, five minutes in Clay Hill. Oh, darn it! What, what happened? Uh, where did you go? 
by the way, because I like just went from the northwest part of Clay. I wasn't able to get back on my mount. I misclicked my fucking mount. Oh fuck! That feels horrible, man. Uh, I've totally been there. Yeah, I, 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 I've been in a situation where I click my mount and my guy starts gathering like wood, and I'm like, damn. So actually, I did kill that guy. Now with poison? It was the. No, the gods killed him. Ah. He almost resurrected <laughs> when I saw him. But uh, now that's strange. Uh, nothing broke from his gear. No, uh, well, I think each, each item has a 30% chance, so you might get nothing broken. Or like everything if you're unlucky. On the bright side, flea worked well. <laughs> Just remember the flea is after you use flea, you can't use your abilities for like seven seconds, so flea should be like the last thing you use. Yeah, that's like oh, last up. resort. But but you can use the cleanse ability by the way, if you have it. Uh yeah, while I was you're just fleeing. about to get a, I was about to re Ooh, shit. Five point three. I was about to remount and he just got me with a po a poison just before. Oh damn, that must feel horrible. Probably should have kept I'm running a little bit because I'm sure they used their speed too. I'm actually not sure if I should use the Wanderlust or keep using this um, kind of uh, invisibility for I don't know one second and then you get 75% of movement speed for four seconds. Hmm. Any fiber gatherers here who uses Wanderlust on their boots? I use Wanderlust pretty much for everything. I'm really not sure what should I be using here. I don't know. Even on my uh, my mm -hmm. dagger user, I use. Nah, I'm prepared to use They give the Wanderlust too. Yeah, I guess it's pretty good for running away. And you I use it for chasing them down and whacking them. If you only want speed, it's the worst thing. Also, there's going to be a work uh, in Clay Hill here pretty quick. They got an attack coming up. I think Nilf is trying to take it. So if you have any stuff in that area, you might want to move it out. Oh, I think so. It's like, isn't it like two hours or an hour and 50 same minutes? Well, I, I guess we are going to go and get it back at some point, so... Oh, it'll trade hands a lot. It's just that if you have a bunch of stuff in there that you want to not have sit for an undetermined amount of time, I want to grab it. One of the reasons I have nothing in anywhere. There's a group of five gankers somewhere now. Gypsies or something like that? It sounds cool. about right. Yeah, I, I know those guys. But I can't say anything bad about them because it's going to be racist. Yeah, I'm not racist, but I hate gypsies, so... <laughs> no, it's like... Yeah, like Anything that German. goes but... <laughs> well, it's the society, I mean, it's not every single gypsy, but... Most gypsies here are just useless. I take offense on that one because I'm kind of useless. <laughs> uh. At least you don't smell. Oh boy, 
you, you have been around me on a hot summer day, so I th think you know the answer to that one. Okay, <laughs> uh. mm. double bladed. Cool. Uh, I need four minutes, and I'm gonna come to mud pool. Só de pilha de trem. Send me an invite. There are three uh, rooms in Taproot at the entrance to Sunroot, or to Sunlit, just be careful if you're going into Taproot. As soon as I'm back on my computer, I'm gonna invite you. Well, okay. Give 20 minutes for PP and to go. <coughs> <coughs> I think I'm a monster, I'm a big monster. Yes, after that, maybe I'll go away one day, I'll be fine. But what do we do, burgers? Hmm... I'm trying to see my father in a rough form, I'm going to get rid of it. It's not a forerunner, so probably not. Не, в смисъл, гледам коли. Не ги мога да го изрежа през това, толкова като спра да стрима в YouTube, не се запомня за... Имаш преди, че стримах бърповете си. Да, 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 тази микрофона ми е пусната от тук. Няма да съчинете тия селф да стръква след една седмица. Ако имам нещо да хайлайтвам, ще го хайлайтне и ще го експортна. В смисъл, изглежда готино. По-нов модел е, има повече X3. Това е грозно тук, между другото. Една струва ми си грозно. Но пък тук има шкафче за твоите неща. Не съм русни с това. Модел с абсолютно шкак с 3RAV4. Между другото това е една от най-бързите. Има AUKUS тук изведен. Но това бърки, че той уния има AUKUS. като пъргавина е от най-бързите такива. В смисъл, мисля, че една от най-бързите кули като мощност към тежест. Не знам, не е не е форронър, не е боби он фрейм. Не знам дали просто не се заслепявам, защото нали... Всъщност, една от групата, една от групата е умирала, така... Няма да е толкова надежно. Тук има някакви богинки, да е това, което вземе, ги няма. Ма пък и място за краката не е много. Да, виж разликата в цените, в смисъл. Това е 2010-та. С абсолютно шки с X3 и вървят по 11-12 хиляди долара на 70 хиляди мили. Форнарите, които са примерно 2006-2007-2008-2009, вървят по от 12 на 12 до 15 хиляди примерно. Тие, които са всичките X3. И за смисъл, да, имат по-малко блогинки. Значи би трябвало, защо вървят за такива пари, би трябвало да са по-добри. Те се водят една от най-редайбл. Не знам, самонавивам се в момента и ти говоря. Спирам да ти говоря. Окей. Да, да, но няма да е толкова газарско, колкото примерно някаква друга кола, която може да вземе. Да, те знам, а в смисъл... Нали, искам да те вози в... Да, я знам. А, глупости. Не, 
don't care about what people think about, think about my penis. Do. It's my penis. <laughs> Fajn! Teraz jsem nad tím zarozmyšlány. OK. OK, I'm coming into Flint Slice now. Let's see what's happening in there. Oh, it's in Sarcha roaming. Oh, look at he, this corpse, there was a T5 too. <laughs> nice. Okay. Do you want it? No. Sickle? Yeah. No. Oh look, another corpse. And uh, nothing in it. So many dead people. So it seems tea party are clearing. Oh yeah, I just saw a bunch of tea party at the mud pool flint entrance slash exit. There uh, aren't any tea party are, are you, at the board camps. Are you, are you guys in a group uh, in mud pool? Yep. Yep. Uh, can you invite me? Nope. You're busy. Uh, just one second. Jungle Tiger. Uh, I mean, uh, I should be invitable now. I think. Thanks. Invitable. Like it's weird, but zones like Mudpool are good for ore gathering because there's like nobody gathering ore out here. So if I die, it's your fault. You know that. Well, what? Why? My fault? What? It's your fault because you're not defending me. Ah. Protecting me, or whatever. Okay. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> totally. I mean, I'm killing, like, cougars over here for you and you're nowhere to be found, so I don't know, I don't know why you're complaining. There's, a uh, Titanium? Is that a 4? Oh uh, yeah, it's a 4. Point 4.2 here. Ooh, yeah, I also found a 4.2, but I'm trying to liberate it from a few fried chickens. Yeah, just go to the other side of this, whatever it is. Okay. Oh shit, the, kid the kittens have got me. Finger set it and nothing has been one clear. zerk on me. Yeah, I see him. I'm coming around actually for him. Uh, oh, yeah. Where, where is he running? Is he running towards the dark? 
I mean, towards Frozen? No, he's a gatherer. One, uh, uh, oh, I one see him. Back. I am on top of him now. On this I mountain, pull, pull because of the birds. birds. Yeah, pull three. God damn. Yeah, I <laughs> fell here. <laughs> yeah, Same. Screw it. Are you dismounted, by the way? Ah, it's exertion. Mm. Yeah, don't forget that's their territory now. Yeah, oh, I, oh we, we swapped territories, yeah. <laughs> I was almost gonna go in there. Uh, okay, time to kill two more things so I can get my mining on. Their birds actually have a really low aggro radius as opposed to the cougars. Like, I was right next to a terror bird and it ignored me. Oh, the exertion Hello, manor. Fred and uh, big tea party. Can you run off? Oh, wait, are yeah, tea party yeah. chasing? Tea party chasing. Okay. I'm actually gonna dismount over here and try to catch somebody. They're going yeah. down the road? Yeah, they're going down the road towards you, by the way. Yeah, towards you. Check How us. many are they? There's mount. Uh, just one, just them, one. One on the road. Just one, just, just one, one. One on the road. Catch him. Did you good, get him? Good, good, good. I'm yeah, right behind you guys. Too. I'm not uh, capable of doing anything. Damn, I'm too far behind. I dismounted too early, I guess. We can go around to the exit. I'll try. He's on you? No, he ran away. No, I think we, we missed him. Group of red too low. Headed to gate near territory in Flint. Mm. Ah, you're wearing gathering gear, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, of course. So it's almost uh, as if you were wearing plate damage is that bad. <laughs> yeah, I guess. A bit worse, maybe. Mm, I don't really know. Yeah, I don't have the CC buff from the armors. Uh, I have no damage increase from them. Yeah, you get nothing. I have nothing! Are you guys in Flint right now? Oh, uh, we're in Mudpool actually. Okay. Uh, but I heard Flint is clear, at least, you know, right now. Okay. If if you come uh, if you come to Flint slash and you get near the gangrene entrance, could you please let me know so I can follow you back to Mudpool? Uh, sure. Let me just check. I'm, I'm a bit just bad. 
you, you don't have to make plans around it. Just if you find yourself near and you're a good group because I want to bring an ox from Gangrene to Mudbull. Oh, I see. Yeah, we're there's like just three of us right now, so... Yeah, ma maybe if we get a few more people, we, we could like help you out, escort you. Wait, right, you're we'll... in Gangrene and you want to go to Mudbull? Yeah. That's gonna be a hell of a ride. <laughs> it's gonna be... Shut him while Ella. I'm sure they're gonna bone though. It doesn't need to be right now at all. I just thought if we had a party oh. in um, in Flint anyway, I might as well take advantage of it. Well, tea oh, party. Oh yeah, for sure. Tea party is currently at Flint's Vice, but I mean, we'll keep much. you. We'll keep you like in mind if if we get more people. Oh yeah, they're no longer in Flint's Vice actually. Uh, there's like seven of them riding towards. Uh, towards the inside the middle of Mudpool. Yeah, tea party are clearing up uh mud pool right now. Uh, I'll drop for now, later on guys. There's a big fight on me by the way, down in the bottom right corner. I'm trying to catch someone off guard, but yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this was so cool. Like, like I jumped th in like five or six of them and pushed them back. And like, the party just followed up. <laughs> it was awesome. Hello.
Oh goddamn, we missed an arch kill. Is there a clutch kick in a channel? A yeah. Clutch kick? What? Oh, oh insane. sorry. <laughs> I asked him where he was going. He hasn't replied to me yet. Oh, I didn't. Even, I wasn't even paying attention, man. Oh, he's on the highway to hell, dude. <laughs> what? Uh, what are you going to, bud? Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, I'm never been over here before. So. Yeah, me either. I'm going to Dunpender. I'm going to try to get there. Dunpender is southwest from Gub, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. You out here gathering too? Yeah. You gather ore? Um, I was looking for stone. Is that please? This is my first time out here. I, I was just told to come out here for ore, but I'm gonna guess stones out here too. This place is fucked up. There's a little bit of granite and slate over here. Near the southwest. Oh, okay. Помагам ли? Правя Саша, той да. 